The topic I'm addressing today is the concept of selling out, a term that I've heard used amongst artists, especially artists calling out other artists when they appear to be doing well financially. So I wanted to make a video to explore this concept and shed some light on its meaning and how to avoid becoming this artist. I think there's this notion that in order to reach a high level of success in any field, you have to sell your soul to the devil. Well, this is completely not true. You can be a six-figure artist and beyond without sacrificing your integrity. So whether you're already a six-figure income artist or that's your goal, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my best tips to avoid from selling out and remain true to yourself as you reach higher levels of success in your art business. For more videos on all things related to art business, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I release a new video. I'm Martha and I worked in the contemporary art world for over a decade. I worked my way up in my career working in contemporary art galleries in London and became a gallery director. I now help artists based all over the world to create wildly successful art businesses. Before we dive in, we are going to be opening up spots to a new high touch group program coming very soon for artists that want to create more income from their art while having more freedom to create. If you're interested in finding out more, then do click the link in the description below to join the waitlist. Okay, let's get into it. First of all, what is selling out? So selling out refers to compromising your artistic identity and integrity in exchange for financial gain. However, it's important to note that making a profit from your art is not the same thing. So what I mean by this is that you can still have a wildly successful and profitable art business without compromising your integrity. Now, I trust that, like me, you value integrity both in your personal and your professional life. And as an artist, I know that you wouldn't want to compromise this core value on your path to success, whether that means earning six, seven, or even eight figures from your art. While some business owners prioritize profit over anything else, I believe that for artists, it's crucial to stay true to your vision and your art while you're still achieving financial success. By keeping your artistic integrity at the forefront of your business, you can create a sustainable career as a highly respected artist. First of all, focus on the quality of your art. So my first piece of advice here for you is to focus on the quality of your art above anything else. So rather than focusing on the outcome, such as the money that you are gaining by selling it, by fixating your attention on the outcome you want to achieve, you're inadvertently compromising the quality of the work itself. So instead, practice separating the steps that go into creating your works and focus on the energy that you're putting in behind each step that you're at, each moment at a time. And this is really going to help you to stay present. So for example, let's say that the steps that go from beginning to end of creating a finished painting ready to sell, first you have an initial idea or inspiration hit, then you do a preliminary sketch or drawing, then you're going to get to work and start the painting. And then once your work is finished, you'll document it. And then this is where your marketing efforts come in. And then it's at this point you sell your painting. During the first few steps, focus on the artwork itself and create the best work that you can based on your own style as an artist. Let go of any other thoughts that may come into your mind relating to selling the work. Something that can help you with this is developing a mindfulness meditation practice to help you get rid of any unwanted thoughts. This can be very effective in improving your mindset as an artist. This process of being present is going to prevent you from leapfrogging forward to the selling stage until your artwork has been completely finished and is ready to be shared with your audience. Now, I mentioned that you create work based on your own style as an artist and this leads to my next point. Don't change your style or direction of your work to increase sales or because someone else told you to do so. Working in the contemporary art world in London for so long, particularly working with contemporary painters, I noticed a sort of trend that arose at one point in my career. So there was a gallery in particular that worked with emerging artists and it was deemed as a very cool gallery and the place to exhibit at the time. I was chatting with the gallerist back then and I remember that they told me that they had a lot of artists reach out to them saying, hey, look, I'm also like so-and-so's work, so you should show my work too. And it really baffled us. And yet it's quite common to witness artists change their style all of a sudden 
because they think it will sell better or they think that it will lead to a better chance of success for them. But in reality, that's actually going to kill your career. And that's exactly how you'll lose integrity and become a sellout because you're in it for the wrong reasons. And people, including gallerists and art buyers as well, will eventually see this. So don't do that. Another example I can give you is this notion that painters must create large scale paintings because they sell better. Well, whether that's true or not, if making large paintings isn't part of your practice, or you just love working to a different scale, don't give up on what is deep down integral to your work because of a trend or advice that has been flippantly given to you without any real data. Never listen to unsolicited advice from a collector, a gallerist, or a patron. Always follow your own gut and let it guide you in what is best for you to do in your own work. You are the one that gets to call the shots as the artist and as the creator of your works. So don't let others blind you or make you doubt yourself. Stick to what you do best and what you are known for. Otherwise, your work loses its meaning. This may be difficult to hear, especially if you are represented by a gallery or if someone is supporting you in some way. However, you must listen to your own voice and trust yourself first and foremost. Next, don't mass produce your work. Now, in today's digital age, it can be very tempting for artists to mass produce their work through online print-on-demand companies or license their art for use on merchandise like t-shirts and mugs. While this may seem like a good idea in the short term, so more print sales means more money, right? It's important to consider the long-term impact of your artistic integrity. Prioritizing profit over artistic vision is exactly what I warned against in my first piece of advice to you. Your art is valuable precisely because of its uniqueness and originality, and mass producing it risks diluting that value. While selling prints or merchandise can be somewhat profitable, it's likely that you could earn a comparable amount by selling one single original artwork without compromising your integrity. Of course, it's important to pay attention to which works your collectors respond to most positively. However, that doesn't mean that you should turn your bestsellers into an open edition print or create dozens of nearly identical paintings. Each work you create must stand on its own right and retain its uniqueness and value, even if it's part of a larger collection. Finally, don't say yes to opportunities for the wrong reasons. So when I say the wrong reasons, I'm referring to situations where you say yes to an opportunity or partner with someone despite feeling that their values and beliefs don't exactly align with your own. And this could be because you have a hidden agenda or because you believe that you stand to gain something from the collaboration or because you're focused on the short-term financial gain. When it comes to building a successful art business, it is crucial to think long-term and to prioritize decisions that will benefit your career in the long run, even if they don't result to immediate financial gains. As an artist, your reputation and integrity are paramount. And so it's essential to protect these assets at all costs. While it can be tempting to prioritize short-term financial gains, Doing so could potentially harm your brand and career over time. Establishing a recognisable and respected artist brand does take time and effort, and it's essential to play the long game. While collaborating with others can be an effective way to grow your career, it's important to be selective about who you work with and to trust your instincts. If something feels off or raises some red flags, you really want to listen to your intuition here and prioritize your values and integrity above all else. And that's it. These are the key pieces of advice I can offer to you to help you avoid from becoming a sellout. So the next time you catch yourself prioritizing profit over your creative vision, you'll now have the self-awareness to pause and reconsider your approach. Remember, you can be a highly successful artist earning six figures and beyond without sacrificing your integrity. The key here is to have a strong sense of self confidence and conviction in the value of your art and your worth as an artist. Don't forget, if you are intrigued about our new High Touch Group program coming soon for artists that want to create more income from their art while having more freedom to create, click the link down in the description below to join the waitlist now. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked this video, do let me know by liking it and subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.